According to the national news mediums, the real estate housing boom is officially over. Could the housing boom actually be over? And to further confirm this, I talked to a couple of agents I know across the country, and they let me know they were feeling the same thing. For example, this agent in Carolina, she let me know that she has a listing that's been sitting on the market for a whopping 12 days. And my friend in Texas, well, Jason let me know that his listings went from getting 62 offers to only getting 30. Come on folks, we've gotten completely spoiled with an overheated market. And since I'm old and I've been selling real estate for about 12 years, I can tell you from experience, this is nothing new. Today, I'm gonna to take an Olympic sized deep dive into the data and present you with a prediction that's contradictory to what you're seeing on the news mediums. Because after all, we didn't actually think they knew what they were talking about anyways, right? Let's go. Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to present you with a few things that I've been seeing in the market, then we're gonna jump into the data. But before we do that, um, I did notice that a lot of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. I'm gonna start putting out some more video content on my YouTube channel. So if you like these videos and you wanna know when they come out, just please click on that notification button, subscribe and like, it helps the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me. Okay, so first off, like I was expecting, if you watched my last video, the rentals in New York City are already starting to make a comeback. People are getting called back to work. And since the vacancy ratios were higher, the prices went down. And all of a sudden, we're starting to see bidding wars on rentals in Manhattan. Now, I was obviously being facetious at the beginning of this video, but agents and sellers do start to panic when homes don't sell themselves in the first week, especially if this is their first time going through a market like this. But being in the Metro New York City market my entire career, I'm no stranger to lack of inventory, overheated markets, and bidding wars. Now, there are obviously some different variables at play here. We've never had a market cycle with a pandemic. However, we have experienced natural disasters where the cities in which we worked were completely flooded, and just months after that, the market snapped right back. Now, don't get me wrong, the Delta variant is definitely a cause for concern, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons why people are pausing a little bit. But on a lighter note, it does look like the vaccination rates are pretty decent and I'm hoping that they continue to go up. Now, thinking logically and naturally optimistic, I am expecting there to be mask mandates put in place and likely some social distancing measures taken as well as some recommended booster shots later on in this year. But I wouldn't expect another overall shutdown. I think the government knows we just can't go that route again. And I doubt the Fed wants to keep on printing more money so we can just give it to this guy so he can take a phallic shaped rocket ship to space for no apparent reason. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> but bigger picture, I believe that what we're seeing here are two main factors. Buyers are just simply getting tired and people are on vacation. I know it sounds maybe a little bit too simplistic, but think about it. When you look at this graph and you see the pricing of properties over the past 12 months, I mean, it's hard to think that people wouldn't just get exhausted over time. How many times could you make offers on homes, become emotionally invested in a property and continue to lose out on it until you start thinking to yourself, well, maybe we should just rent or take some time off. And secondly, the pent up demand for travel is starting to show itself. You know, people just wanna get out of the house, really enjoy themselves, don't have to worry about social distancing this summer, and it's really starting to show up. Now, a poll was just taken that shows that over 60% of Americans intend to travel more this year than they did pre-pandemic in 2019, and I don't blame them. I think they should be doing that. But with that just being my opinion, I have to serve my clients a little bit better, and that's why I dive into the data so I can present them with what's actually going on with homes and inventories in our area. Now, you can always view the information on my website at risottorealtor.com. I run market data reports every two weeks, but for this video and moving forward for the next six weeks, I'm gonna be running a more in-depth analysis so you can see in detail exactly what's going on because I wanna track this market and make sure that we're seeing what I think we're seeing, which is just tired buyers, people are on vacation, rather than an overall downturn in the real estate market, which I don't believe is happening, but is certainly a possibility. So what we've done differently here is we searched both the Hudson and Bergen County MLSs, and then we categorized each search from studios all the way up to multifamilies. We went ahead and searched the active, 
under contract as well as expired and sold since March 1st. So what the report immediately shows us is that studios all the way up to small two bedrooms are struggling and they have been for some time. You know, that's been the trend. People were moving out of Manhattan, looking for larger spaces that were in the suburbs. And we're actually starting to see those people move back from the suburbs, believe it or not. But the data is supporting that the inventories have been growing in those sectors. And if you look at the rate of expires versus sold, uh, in most cases, you can see that more than 50% of properties that have listed have expired. Now, there are a lot of scenarios, I'm sure, to where they relist at lower prices and then sell, uh, but for the most part, that's not what you wanna see. Now, when you move above the two bedrooms, the three bedrooms plus, you can see that that's a market that is actually flourishing. For the most part, you have a lack of inventory, there's more supply, the rate of expires is relatively low, and that gets exponentially better as you get larger in terms of the properties, meaning single families and multifamilies are really flourishing. That, that market has actually continued to run in most cases. Now, we're gonna be running this report every two weeks and putting it up on my website, and if my intuition's correct, I'm expecting the inventories to grow a little bit over the next 30 days, and then when people come back from vacation or they're getting called back to work and all of a sudden they need to move, well, we're gonna see these inventories contract pretty quickly. So here's my point. I understand as a buyer why you'd be tired. And I think it's really important that you do go away, go on vacation and enjoy yourself. But just know that now is actually one of the best times for you to be looking at properties when you have less competition because from my past experience, this is short-lived. All of a sudden, you're gonna to start to see that sellers stop listing properties while the market's a little softer. And then all of a sudden, when people come back from vacation and they start going back to work, there's less inventory and there's this mad dash and the market starts to become too expensive again and the bidding wars start all over. So if you ask me if buyers should be out there looking at homes and making offers and if sellers should be putting a game plan together for late August, early September, I would say, hell yes. I had to hit you with that one again. Thank you again for watching. And if you feel like anyone would benefit from watching these videos, please forward them along. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, put on the notifications. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, call, text, or email, and I'm happy to help. Thank you again, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>